Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a highly requested video on what I have bought for my daughter for her birthday. Now I filmed one of these videos last year um, on her birthday and everyone was really grateful for the tips so I thought I would do the same thing mainly because this year I have struggled and I think I said that in last year's video um but last year even though I thought I struggled this year it's just topped it um so yeah I'm gonna show you what we have picked up for our daughter she has turned nine today so I wanted to wait until her actual birthday after she'd unwrapped everything um and then I've obviously got everything here you can see in the background and then I can show you so if you want to see or have some gift ideas for a nine-year-old then please keep watching Okay, so I've obviously been conscious that it is her birthday coming up um, and I've obviously been trying to put the feelers out asking her what she wants um, and I've kind of just been met with like, I don't know mummy, I don't know. The odd couple of things she's mentioned, so I've kind of just been really stumped. Now, as I said, she's nine, she's turned nine today um, and she has not asked me for any toys whatsoever and what we found is that she really, really doesn't play with anything toy wise it's in her bedroom so she does still have things like her lol dolls um, and she's got the lol camper van um but i mean that literally sits in her little toy cupboard and i if i'm being really honest i cannot remember the last time she got it out um we are things like her barbies she hasn't played with for a good year and a bit um, things like that we have kept because I'm currently pregnant with a, another baby girl, it's going to be my third baby. So we're keeping a lot of Darcy's things, obviously for when baby girl is old enough. But obviously I'm very conscious that it's her birthday and we'd quite like to get her some things to celebrate. Um, so there were a couple of things that she asked for so I thought I would share. I'm going to try and link everything that I've purchased down below um, in the description bar. What I've also done, because um, I've had quite a lot of people asking over on my Instagram account, so I've also tagged what I can do, because I've actually bought a hell of a lot of things off of Amazon. So Amazon has been my saviour this year. Um, and so everything, what I've started to do is everything that I've bought for the kids that I love and would recommend, obviously there's going to be things I don't, I have tagged in that page. I think it's called Darcy and Ollie gift idea, something like that. Um, so yeah, anything that I've purchased for them and I recommend, so I would say, yeah, get this. I have tagged it. So everything that I can, I will link below. But yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if there's any other ideas. I'm like literally just keeping a backlog because I know we've got Christmas coming up at the end of the year and I just can't, this was hard enough. I can't even think about Christmas. So yeah, anything you think I've missed or that she might like for Christmas, please let me know in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and let's jump in to the video. Okay, so first up, this was actually on her Christmas list. Um, she requested a skateboard. Now, I've actually had this. Um, I purchased this a few months ago. No, I didn't. I purchased this about a month before Christmas, actually. We were going to give it to her for Christmas. And then when we went through what we'd actually got, um, I would like to just keep some things back because I don't like them getting too much because I, I can just keep buying and buying. So I held this back um, purely for the reason we don't have very good weather wise winters here so it wouldn't have been used anyway with the idea that we'd give it to her for her birthday so she wanted a what she calls a proper skateboard now i found this one on amazon you can obviously buy these through like skate shops but i found on amazon because she's just starting to get into it obviously i don't know if it's going to be something that she continues or not i just found value for money just as she started tonight, Amazon was the best place. So this was $39.99. Um, it's got a really cool design on the back as well. So obviously it's quite bold, but it's quite girly um, with the pink. And I believe they did have some other designs to choose from. And it comes with um, like an adjustable kit for the wheels and um, to tighten up because it does obviously lean to the side. So she was really, really happy with that. So that's the first thing that she asked for. Okay, next up, she also asked, she had a TV in her bedroom for Christmas, and she has been asking for some LED lights that go around the back of the TV, um, and she also wanted them to go around her bedroom, but I didn't get them for her bedroom purely because they actually stick onto the wall, and I didn't want them, if she changed her mind or they came off, I just didn't want them to like pull the plaster off. 
but I found again on Amazon I found these now they're obviously if you type in LED lights for TV so many come up so I kind of had a little look through and went with the one that I thought was like a really reasonable price not too cheap obviously not expensive but had like really good reviews to balance it out um I haven't tried them yet so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, after I film this video, I'm actually going to go and set it all up first so it's ready for when she comes from school. So I'm going to pop some footage in of what it looks like um, all lit up. So this is if you just press a solid colour. And then obviously you can have flash in. You can have fades. This is where it fades between the colours. That's quite nice. Don't you chase me? So yeah, I really, really recommend these. So basically, they just sit on the back of the TV. I think this does up to like a 47 inch TV. Hers is a 32, so it'll be fine. And it it actually plugs into the back of the TV and it comes with a remote, um, as you can see. So you just select the colour that you'd like, the lights. So obviously you've got a lot, lot of choice there. And these were 11 99 So that, I think... That price-wise isn't too bad to be honest because you can pay like up to 30 odd pounds. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think of these in the comments because I will have used them before this video goes live. So check the comment below um, for my recommendation on those. Okay, next up, she also requested a pair of high top vans, just the classic vans. So my son, her brother, always wears them and Converse and she's always asking for them, but she typically doesn't wear trainers. So she hasn't had any as yet, but I did actually manage to find them um, online in her size because shoes for her size are completely sold out and I thought I would get them for her. She's actually worn them to school today because it's PE. So she's decided to wear them to school, but I've got my son's here. So I thought I would show you um, the style that she got. So this is her box. Um, and yeah, it's just the plain high top black vans. So she asked for them and she did look really cute in them too fast. So she was really chuffed when she opened those. So that's the next thing. And then she also really loves doing like craft things, creating things. So she's been asking for a sewing machine. Now, um, I did see that they had like a beginner's one in Audi when they had their um, craft event on. Uh, but I actually missed it. And I've been waiting and waiting and it didn't ever come back in. Now, I found this actually in all places of home sense. I've had a look online and I think this is um, like an older model now. So I've had a look on Argos and they do a slightly newer model, which is £20. I paid £16 for this. Um, but like I said, I think this is the older version. Um, but it's kind of like a beginner children's sewing machine. So it's from ages six up and it gives you instructions on things that you can make so you can make um like pom-poms with it it shows you the different stitches that you can do and it's obviously if i show you you can see the machine itself is quite sturdy and bulky so i thought i would try her with this because it wasn't overly expensive um and if she gets on okay with this and she uses it and she really shows like an interest then maybe we could then progress her for christmas onto like the next one that i've seen from aldi because that one is such great value and then you can also buy like the sewing kits to go with it so yeah, this was another thing that I got her. If I show you the back, um, it just gives you a bit more detail because I haven't unwrapped this. Oh, I've got it out of the box, sorry, yet. We haven't looked at it because she's at school at the moment. So this is kind of like the vibe that it goes for. So you can see it's very, very beginner friendly. So that was the next thing. Okay, I also spotted this. She didn't ask for this, but I saw this in the entertainer and it was in their clearance section actually. So it was, only, I think it was about eight pounds and it's um, made by the brand Jax and it's the Cosmic Slime Candle Kit. Um, so I'm guessing it's some sort of slime that you make into a candle. Now she is totally obsessed with anything slime. We actually also got her off of Amazon, a big Elmer's glitter glue. Um, she's got a couple out, but the rest of them are in her bedroom. So I'll grab, what they look like and then we just buy the activator separately off of amazon so again i've linked that in my store because that is something just a go-to for us she always like if she wants to do anything she just wants to make slime so i thought she would really enjoy that um again i'll link this down below but i did get it in the clearance section so i don't know if it's something that's being made now or whether it's like an older toy that they're phasing out but if i can find this online i will link it below okay next up um <laughs> She asked me for, I've always got like a diffuser, a water diffuser going downstairs. 
um, and I pop my different like scents in there and Darcy has asked me for one for months and months and months to go in her bedroom um, so I picked this up in Home Sense. The reason I got this one is because it's actually through a USB plug and all of her plugs in her bedroom now are USB and it's very very tiny so obviously I can monitor and set it up for her of what's being um, like pumped through. So I just thought that was lovely and it's got the USB different colour lights that run through it and this was 9 99 Okay, on the theme of crafting, she also has requested, I did buy her a crochet set that went in her Easter basket but we found that quite complicated. So I said to her that when I was younger I used to do a lot of cross stitch. So I found this pack for her. This is off of Amazon and this was 5 99 and it actually comes with four designs. So you've got the unicorn, the rainbow, a flamingo and an ice cream. It's the full kit and it's got like the stretch ring in there so you can pop your canvas in. And the actual print of the cross stitch is printed onto the canvas that they stitch through um, so she knows exactly what colour, what stitch goes where. It's just very ideal for like beginners getting into cross stitch. So she was really excited when she opened this up and I think 5 99 is a really good price point for this. So again, this was Amazon. Okay, next up, I've also picked her up a couple of um, like makeup or brush bags. She does ballet um, and there's exams, competition, things like that where she needs to have her hair accessories or things to pop her hair up ready for when she's doing her exam. So I saw this bag in B&M and this was actually in clearance for three pounds and it's just really lovely like straw detail and the colour is absolutely amazing. I love it. This colour is so pretty and then as you can see it's got her initial D on the front. And then I saw this one in Home Bargains. This one was £2.49. So this one isn't quite as big, but this would be perfect for holding like her elastic bobbles. Um, so things that aren't as bulky. It's got the rose gold zip there. So obviously everything can stay nice and secure. And again, it has her initial D on it. And I also picked her up another Harry Potter book. So she it loves Harry Potter. Obviously the books are huge, so I don't even think she's got through her second book yet, but I just like to pick her one up. I think she had book number three for Christmas, so this is book number four. Now I pick these up, um, obviously you can buy the complete set um, with all of the titles in. Um, they do like things like that on Amazon, um, and I've actually seen it in Aldi as well, but I just buy them as in when I need them and I find that Asda have a really good offer on like a really big range of their books and they do two for seven pounds so I managed to get book three and book four for seven pounds so obviously she's already had one and then she's got this one um and then obviously we'll just keep going until she's got them because I think she's a, the more she gets into her reading she's gonna really enjoy reading these books so I yeah I picked her up another one to go with her collection um, and then I also saw this in Home Bargain. So it's just a Nivea pack of lip balm. So it's like a pack of three. You get the red, the blue, and the pink. Obviously they do different things, but essentially they're just lip balms. She loves using chapsticks and things like this on her lips. And the red one actually has a really lovely rosy tint. Um, and this was £2.49, but I just think it's super, super cute and just a perfect little, even like a stuff, a stocking stuffer for Christmas. But yeah, she loves anything like this. She gets so excited to open up um, and to see what we've got her. Now, she did also request, this was a last minute request. She came home from school, I'm not sure if it was last week or the week before, and with a lovely like, rubber band bracelet. And she said, Mummy, my friends made me this. Um, it's really good to make um, bracelets that have lo loomy bands or loom bands, I think they're called. Now, I remember these being a thing a few years ago, but I just thought it had been phased out. But she was insistent that she wanted like a little loom band set. So I had a look online and Amazon was the best place by far that I found. Um, obviously, the set I've got is absolutely huge. They actually do different size sets with obviously different amounts of loom bands, accessories, um, like little gadgets to go on it. Um, this one that I got for Darcy, I've written down the prices here. So this loom band set was 17 99 but it is absolutely, when I say it's huge, it's huge. And it comes in this really, really great storage box. So it actually clips secure. So you don't need to worry about the lid flying off when you pick it, like pick the box up and bands going everywhere. And if you can see, they're all in their own individual sections. So that's like a view of all the bands. And then if I flip it over, you can see you've got so many accessories, beads, they've got initials on, 
um, like alphabet letters so you can make words, you can spell names. Um, there's like little pretty charms to add on, just so much. Um, and it's really gender neutral. There's like football charms that you can put in there, rugby ball charms, basketball, like there's like even little pizzas I think and strawberries in there for food. So this I was really impressed with and when she opened it this morning she was so excited and said oh my goodness mum look at the size of it so yeah that was a big big hit with her this morning. Next up I picked up this bottle from where was this? B&M. It was five pounds so it's an initial bottle so as you can see it's kind of like marble rose gold lid and then her initial d um she just needs things that's because she does a lot of dance during the week and obviously school and it just keeps the water really nice and chilled so i grabbed that for her and then next up i also got her a few bits and pieces of clothing um now we did go last year this happened where she just got bought so much clothing um the, the stuff that already fit her then didn't get worn so we've already gone through her wardrobe um gone through all of her spring summer and things that will fit her for winter that will come obviously after summer and we've got rid of everything that's not going to fit her or she's not going to wear so i knew exactly what i needed to buy so there's a few things i wanted to share with you um there's a couple of sets that i actually picked up from matalan um, and I'm so impressed with them. I don't tend to buy very much, if anything, from Matalan. But I was just so impressed with the quality and the designs. I just thought I really need, well, want to share them. So this first one is just a tie-dye two-piece kit. So it's a long sleeve top. Um, it's quite short in the body. It isn't a crop top, but it doesn't cover very much past the waist. And it comes with shorts. So this obviously is more of a spring-summer outfit. This was £9, um, I just got her age 9 in this, she's tried it on, fits her perfectly and she's got plenty of room in it, um, if anything, so it'll probably be fine for next spring. Um, and I just let that colour looked lovely on her. And then also from Matalan, I picked up, it's another tie-dye kit, um, another tie-dye cohort, I mean, sorry, but it's very, very thin and the colours are pastel. Um, so it's kind of washing them out a bit. Oh, there you go. That's kind of like the true colour of it. So it's a long sleeve cuffed jogger. So if I show you the bottom. But they are so thin, like so thin. So they're not a winter. This isn't a winter outfit. Again, I got this in age nine and the top is long sleeve. Now we've had very, very chilly start to our spring. So this is something that'll be perfect it's quite cold today as well um this one was 12 pounds now i'm not sure if they've got it in stock i'll link it below so it's kind of just matching top to the bottoms yeah if they've got it in stock i'll link it below but when i looked for this one um because i did see somebody else in this who recommended it and that's how i got the idea this one was very low in stock the other one was fine but if i can find this i'll link it below but 12 pounds for a two-piece and it looks lovely it's such pretty girly colours um and yeah just perfect for when the weather isn't boiling boiling hot and then next up i did a zara order now i'm gonna do a separate spring summer um like lookbook for her because she's also been bought like doc martin sandals things like that but i just wanted to show a couple of the pieces that i picked up from zara from her, for her um and it actually came the delivery was so look at the box <laughs> The delivery came super super late um but yeah it's just a couple of things i picked up for her um that i know will be fine for this year and will take us into next year as well um so first up is this crochet crop top i mean how beautiful is that it is so thick and made so well zara sometimes is a little bit hit and miss with the quality um but this i would highly recommend this was £10.99 I got this in age nine for her she's tried it on she's quite petite I would say um so she put it on this morning and she cut it I don't think it was quite crop enough for her um but that's fine I prefer it that way so I'm glad I got her age nine but yeah it will be fine for next year as well um and I just love the rainbow across the front so adorable so that's the first thing and then I also picked her up this kind of like basic crop but again because i got it in age nine it isn't very crop on her and it comes with the collar and just a v detail if i move the tag out of the way a second 
Um, yeah, just a V detail in the front. There is no buttons or anything, but it doesn't go down low. It's not revealing in any way. This was $8.99 and it's kind of like that ribbed material, if it will pick up on the camera there. So this is going to look perfect for if she wants to like dress an outfit up. Um, and I got it in, as I said, age nine and she's got plenty of room. So again, this is going to be good for this year and next year. Um, I also picked her up a, just a basic white crop top. So this one is a lot shorter than the other two. She had these last year that still fit her, um, but the white one isn't quite as white and fresh. It's, it's still fine, but I just thought I would pick up another one. They're 3 dollars so they're very inexpensive, but I got her age nine, so it's a little bit longer than the one she's got now. So obviously more for when the weather is super hot. Um, and then I also picked her up um, these really lovely paper bag or paper bag waisted linen trousers. So this is the waist um, and they're kind of like that beige, off beige colour. I think they call it, um, what do they call it? I don't know if it's like a gringe sort of colour, so it's in between a grey and a beige. Um, so yeah, these were £17.99. I got age nine. She's got quite a lot of growing room in these. So they fit her around the waist because they're elasticated and they're very high-waisted ones. Um, but they're very, very long and wide in the legs. So obviously they look lovely because they kind of look like that more relaxed style. Um, but yeah, they are a little bit more expensive, but they're quite a thick material. So if I bring it up, you can kind of look. It does look as though it might be a bit denim, but it's nowhere near as stiff as a denim. Um, so yeah, that was the next thing I bought her. And again, that will last for this year and next year. I also saw these shorts again. It's the same kind of paper bag waist, elastic, um, but just these are more linen material, but I just loved the color and the stripe on these. These again were $17.99. So these were quite pricey really for shorts, um, but I just loved them. And I think these are more of like a smarter short which she doesn't have. She's got a lot of like jogger style shorts, but she doesn't have smarter style shorts. Um, so I just wanted her to have that in her wardrobe. And then last up, I picked up this kind of like jacket. So it's like a shirt stroke jacket. I got this in age nine, but I'm gonna be returning it for age 10 because I want her to have a bit more room in it. Yeah, the color is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. It's gonna look lovely on top of like a white top under it. Um, and just the cut, it's very, very thick, but it's got, it's very easily moving. Um, it's not like a rigid fit on her. She tried it on, it fits her lovely and she's got a little bit of growing room, but I don't think we would get past this year with this. Um, and I do, if I'm buying things, cause I mean, this was 1999 and I don't know how often she would wear it. I would probably, I do like her to get a couple of seasons out of it. So I am gonna exchange this for age 10. They did do this in a cream as well, but she wanted this color. We saw it actually when we were, went down and were in the store and she saw it and her eyes were immediately drawn to it. But I can see why, because the color is just so beautiful. So yeah, that is it clothing wise that I picked her up. And that's everything that we picked up for our daughter for her birthday. She did get other gifts from family members. So if you want to see a little bit more about what she got, then be sure to check out her birthday vlog. I'll link it here and in the description. As I said, I have got the Amazon page that I'll link down below. And that will also have things tagged that I buy maybe throughout the year or for Christmas. Yeah, as I said, I'm really happy with everything that we picked up. And I'm really confident that she's going to use everything because... I just find there's nothing worse than that opening all these presents and then you go, it's happened to me um, and it's really disheartening. I'll go into her toy cupboard and there's things that haven't even been brought out of the box. Um, so I'm just very conscious now to buy things that I know she'll want to use, um, things that she'll get use out of, hence why I've picked her up some clothes, we've got the shoes, um, even the diffuser. Um, my sister thought it was really funny that she asked for a diffuser, but I thought she, every time I've got mine on, she always compliments it. So, and she is growing up. Um, so I know there's going to obviously be times when she's not like we're experiencing asking for toys. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share the ideas that I had. As I said, if you've got any other ideas, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm going to need all the help I can for Christmas. Um, but that's going to wrap up my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.